10 April Fool's Day pranks for teachers. April Fool's Day is a day to be silly and play pranks on our friends, even on our students at school. But since the classroom is a place for rules and learning, here are 10 harmless April Fool's Day pranks for teachers. The teacher switch. You and another teacher switch classes. Walk in and start teaching as if nothing's wrong. It's just another regular day. Act like they're joking if they start to protest. Teacher, you're in the wrong class. April Fool's doesn't have to be elaborate, just silly. Another teacher told me about a time when all the teachers drew names and switched teaching roles for the entire morning. The principal was the PE teacher, the first grade teacher was now in fourth grade, the science teacher taught English. The kids love the switch up roles and it was a good challenge for the staff to step into someone else's shoes for a bit. Costume. Take a change of clothes with you. It doesn't need to be anything extravagant, but it should be noticeable. Excuse yourself from class and change nearby. When you re-enter, see how many students can spot the difference. You may also dress up like a popular character to make it really fun for the students. Or you could place a fake tattoo somewhere very visible. Even if you already have tattoos, students will find the new addition intriguing. When teaching online, switch with a spouse dressed up as you. Try a wig and clothes to look like you. Brilliant for a laugh and to see how your partner would do as a teacher. Here's a classic. Find the Luf Lopa bird. Tell the students that someone at school saw a very rare bird on the school grounds. You need to find the bird for a local zoo. Hand each student a marshmallow and tell them to go outside and call for the bird. Lou Flopa! After a few minutes, let them return to class and spell it on the board. Ask them to read it backwards. April Fool. You can even do this for online classes. Tell the students that there is a rare bird that appears on days like, well, today. They should go outside with a treat. Hold it up to the sky and call Luf Lopa three times. The bird will swoop down and eat the treat. If possible, ask mom or dad to record them using their phones because the bird is so rare. If that doesn't work, call the bird's name backwards. Ask parents to share the videos after. Classroom shuffle. If you have the time and energy, remove all the chairs and hide them in another room. When the students enter, watch them try to figure out what to do. For students, wait for the teacher to step outside and then rearrange the classroom. Everybody turns their desks and chairs to face the back of the classroom instead of the front. When the teacher returns, everybody continues doing work as though nothing has happened. Wait for the teacher to ask what's going on and then say, April Fools! as a class. You all know this one, but here are some variations. A. Make a fake test with nonsense words. The next word is ch, -ch, -ch. The horse was angry, so I said ch, -ch, -ch. That's ch, 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 Nice, nice work. B. Make a test. They do the test and then exchange with partners to mark, but give the wrong answers. If they interrupt, Tell them to continue. We'll check it later. C. Give them a fake word search. None of the words actually appear in it. On the top, add instructions like, if you read this, bring the paper to the front of class and say how easy the test was. Return to your seat and relax. D. Tell them that you've planned a pop quiz. They will laugh and say, oh yeah right, April Fools. Then, give them a real pop quiz quiz. <laughs> that brings us to number six. For a week leading up to April Fools, warn the students that you have a special surprise planned. Really hype it up a few days before April Fools. They will be expecting something huge. Then, don't do anything. It's a major bluff and their expectations throughout the lesson will be monumental. Play it off at the end of class with a April Fools. They will sigh with relief. Classroom Ghost. Most classes have smart boards or projectors. Plan a lesson using PowerPoints or play a game like Kahoot or Bamboozle. Then give remote access 
to your computer to another person using TeamViewer. TeamViewer is a simple to use free app that lets a friend take control of your computer. Start class normally, but over time, let the computer do strange things. Look very surprised with what's happening. In the middle of your lesson, at a time you've both agreed on, move away from the computer so it's clear that you're not using it. Your accomplice opens up paint and in red write, this is the ghost of 203, get out. Foot doctor, tell students that the nurse will come to class to do a foot health check, kind of like the hearing or vision tests they do. The students should remove their shoes and socks and place their feet on their desks. Take some pictures while they wait. Once it's gone on long enough, write the name of the doctor on the board. Dr. April Fools. A variation is that they are doing a flood drill. Students take off their shoes and socks, pull up their pant legs and sit on their desks. Once you give the sign, they have to tippy toe to the exit and line up outside. Some April Fools gags you can use. Tell the students you've got a big reward for them for being so good. Then prepare the following. Brownies, brown -ees. Free iPads, Toasty. iPads. Mystery jelly beans from Harry Potter. It can be any flavor, even gross ones. When in reality, they are just normal jelly beans. Add a sign that says, try me if you dare. Put yogurt in a mayo jar and eat in front of your students. Ask anyone if they would like to try. Place a box of donuts in the teacher's lounge with a sign saying, Free for all, put veggies or fruit inside. Fool the parents, give an envelope with a large red angry face on the front. Tell students to look sad when they hand it to their parents. On the inside, write April Fools. Add a nice compliment for each student if you have the time. The list. On the Office TV show, the boss, Robert California, has a random list of names of everyone in the office separated into two columns. One of the employees, Andy, accidentally finds the list and the whole office tries to figure out what it means. To translate this to the classroom, simply put all your students' names into two columns at random and accidentally show it to them by leaving it on your desk. They'll be wondering what it means the entire day. The next class, or if they ask, give them a fake reason. Like, this column is because it's April, and that column is full of fools. Which prank is your favorite? Place it in the comments below. I'm Eric from Etiquette, wishing you a silly April Fool's Day at school.